Today, we're lighting up a subject that has kindled human civilization and blazed a path for our ancestors over countless millennia. We're talking about the fiery history of man-made fire. Now let's set our time machine to the very dawn of humanity. Our journey begins around 1.7 million years ago into East Africa, home to our early human ancestors, Homo erectus. It's here that an elemental discovery would forever alter the course of human history and evolution. The control of fire. In the world of Homo erectus, fire is more than just a beacon in the night or a deterrent for predators. It was a transformative tool, providing warmth against the chill, a way to cook food, thereby making it easier to digest and unlock essential nutrients that would alter their course of biological evolution. You might be wondering, how did they do it? Well, the answer is, we don't really know. Some theories suggest early humans may have struck flintstones together to create the first sparks, whereas others propose they harnessed the natural power of fire through lightning strikes or wildfires. Regardless of the method, the result was monumental. Once Homo erectus had fire, they were set on a path from which they'd never stray. The ability to generate heat and light became a crucial element of their lifestyle, a fact reflected in the remains of hearths and scorched animal bones found at numerous archaeological sites. Fast forward to around 400,000 years ago, and we find another species, Neanderthals, also mastering the art of fire. By this point, fire wasn't just a lucky occurrence, but an integral part of daily life, a force that could be manipulated and controlled. Neanderthals, like Homo erectus before them, likely made fire through a variety of methods, one of the earliest being friction. This involved rubbing two sticks together until the generated heat sparked a flame. Laborious? Certainly. Evolutionary? Absolutely. Fire didn't just change how early humans lived, it drove technological advancement. Around 20,000 years ago, humans began using fire to harden clay, leading to the creation of pottery. Then, around 5,000 years ago, they harnessed fire to smelt and manipulate metals, birthing the Bronze Age, a time in which warfare reached a new milestone and became embedded in social institutions and resulted in the creation of heroic mythology. But fire's influence didn't stop at practical uses. Throughout ancient cultures, fire held a revered place, symbolized in myth and worshipped in religion. Take, for instance, the Greek myth of Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods to gift to humanity, embodying the power of knowledge and enlightenment. In ancient Rome, the goddess Vestia symbolized the sacred hearth fire. Her priestesses, known as the Vestial Virgins, maintained the sacred fire within the temple of Vestia. Fire was also a key element in Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest religions, a monotheistic religion of ancient Persia that is seen as a conduit for wisdom and insight, and influenced the birth of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Ancient China, too, understood the significance of fire, deeming it one of the five essential elements and associating it with energy, assertiveness, and passion. Not to mention, the Chinese harnessed the explicit potential of fire and the invention of gunpowder, one of four great inventions of ancient China, forever changing the nature of warfare in the course of history. Moving into the Middle Ages, fire continued to drive progress. It was an indispensable tool in the blacksmith's forge, the baker's oven, the glassmaker's furnace, and the alchemist's slab. In these Middle Ages, fire essentially became the engine of innovation. The most significant leap came with the Industrial Revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries. Fire, in the form of burning coal, powered massive engines and machinery, profoundly transforming industry, transportation, and society at large. In the realm of personal use, the invention of the friction match in the 1800s made fire creation accessible to anyone, anywhere, at any time. This small, easy-to-use invention put the power of fire literally at people's fingertips. The 20th century witnessed fire being harnessed in increasingly sophisticated ways. It powered steam engines, fueled cars, heated homes, gave us more advanced methods of cooking food, and even propelled rockets into space. But with power comes responsibility. And unfortunately, we have seen the negative impacts of fire misuse. Careless or intentional human actions have caused devastating forest fires that ravage ecosystems and endanger lives. Our reliance on burning fossil fuels, such as coal and oil, to power industries and vehicles has led to a significant increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide, contributing to the global crisis of climate change. But as we've done throughout history, we're learning and adapting. Today, we're seeking ways to harness fire's energy in more sustainable ways. 
Renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydroelectric power, along with the potential of nuclear fusion, represent the next chapter in our ongoing relationship with fire. So what's the future of our fiery journey? Well, scientists around the globe are working on mastering nuclear fusion, the process that powers stars. If successful, nuclear fusion could provide us a nearly limitless clean energy source. Nuclear fusion could redefine our relationship with this age-old element, allowing us to tap into an energy source that is both immensely powerful and environmentally friendly. Our journey with fire, it seems, continues to evolve, leading us into exciting new frontiers. Today, we're utilizing fire in ways that our ancestors could have only dreamed of. Modern 21st century technology allows us to use fire in a controlled manner like never before, and has been instrumental in our development as a civilization. Most notably, it allows humanity to advance into space and inhabit other planets, like Mars and our moon. In the world of science, fire plays a crucial role. It's used in various forms for numerous applications, from cutting edge research and experimental procedures to more practical uses such as sterilizing equipment. In ecology, controlled or prescribed fires are used to manage forest ecosystems, promote the growth of certain plant species, and reduce the risk of large, uncontrollable fires. Art and entertainment haven't been left out either. Fire dancing, fire breathing, and fire sculpture are just a few ways that fire has found its place in modern performance art. While we enjoy the benefits from fire, we've also learned the importance of safety measures. Fire extinguishers, smoke detectors, and fire resistant materials are all part of our collective effort to harness fire safely. Fire has been with us from the beginning, and it continues to be an essential part of our lives. It's a story of survival, innovation, and the indomitable human spirit. As we continue to learn and grow, our relationship with fire is evolving. From the first spark struck by our ancient ancestors to the potential future of stellar fusion, the story of man-made fire is, in many ways, the story of humanity itself. In a previous episode, I've expressed my interest in the observation how something like fire, which is so unorderly and destructive, is built into the balance of life. How our grand design includes a random chance of error, a force woven into the fabric of nature that's both built to take life and grant it. It has guided our species from cavemen to new levels of human cyborg evolution, an evolution that will continue to evolve and to illuminate our future as we not only become the masters of planet Earth, but as we expand our civilization into the depths of the universe. No matter where we go, into any dark, cold abyss that humanity reaches, we will always have a light, a warming guide that will never be extinguished in our hearts. That is fire. I hope you enjoyed this video through the history of man-made fire. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more exciting historical explorations and scientific breakthroughs. As always, thanks for watching, keep exploring, and keep that flame of curiosity alive. Thank you.